This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. So, man, every we've been watching uh, 1986, uh, and most of you, except for a handful of you cocksuckers, have liked 1986. Uh, so you know that every angle that we've been talking about on TV is kind of being played out here. Yeah. Well, this is the payoff for what we've been seeing on all those TV shows. That's right. Which is why I thought it was important. We watch it. Even if there is no commentary, right? So we could all watch it together and see exactly how they put TV shows together and how they TV shows were infomercials for what you're seeing right now. Uh, and Jim Cornette, I guess did. I think you mentioned this last week. He had it. Look at this. Right? He's just fucking slugging away. Um, Jim Cornette mentioned his book. What was the gate for this? Do you remember? Or do you have it handy? Yeah, was- I'll pull it up for you and read it right out of my hands here. Okay. Of the Jim Cornette book. There you go. 25th anniversary scrapbook of the okay. Midnight Express. All right. Why do you, every time I hold that book up, you get a little low key hot about it? Uh, because you're trying to cause some bullshit that's not there maybe what i'm putting over his book yeah no you you, you say i get in low-key hot about it and i'm not you do you get pissed no i know you know you're fucking lying if motherfucking again hey hey you watch your fucking tone with me 200 <laughs> wow this Dawkins thing got you pissed 230 well i was trying to do my best dave silva oh, okay and he was like no disrespect but you're a huge piece of shit and i was like <laughs> i don't think that's how that works um two hundred thirty four thousand dollars all right. And what was, what, what was their payoff? What was the midnight express's payoff? Did he say? Yeah, we went over this. I showed you the guy. Tell there. us again. God damn it. Fuck. Repeat your fucking tell it. It might, you know, not everybody listens. 17,320 dollars. 17,000. That's the great American bash payoff. 17,320 dollars for that one show. No, that includes all the July dates. Oh. And the, uh, show in Atlanta on August 2nd. Wow. So they really didn't, since we did not pay July on a normal basis, we've calculated your previous July earnings added with the enclosed bash check for the entire month. Your income is $22,960. Okay. So I I, I think I've told you this story and it beats, uh, repeat. It bears, uh, repeat one more time. There you go. Okay. It bears repeating, uh, even though. I don't mind repeating the stuff that I've said before. Obviously you, you have a problem with it, but so I did some work for the Crockett's in accounting. Uh, and I just did, I just looked up some things for David Johnston, who was the, uh, the, uh, controller. And David said, I need you to go through everybody in wrestling, everybody that we have booked here. I need you to get their address and I need you to, and it was on a computer screen. I need you. It was all these, these informations that he needed. So I went through them. Everybody had a page. like an F 10 or an F five. Went through all the pages You know, everything was DOS back then. And so I pulled up dusty and I pulled up Ric Flair and we're talking about after the bashes were over. Yeah. So you're talking August. Well, I'm talking August. Yeah. Maybe September, but I think in August and they had grossed over 500. And I remember this because I remember thinking, well, this is something I've got to remember because this is this is a hell of a number, especially for somebody like me who was broke. They had both made like five hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars that year already, so they were well on their way to making a million dollars. I would think that year, close to it, because you know some of the big uh, some of the big gates were coming up, Christmas and Thanksgiving, and. You know, usually the fall is where you had your big gates. It's going to be a so, big year. Yeah. And I was thinking, so, and that's, that's authentic, buddy. I mean, I, that's, I remember reading that from there, from the, from the Crockett database. And so I just, uh, I just kind of wonder what, what Flair and Dusty got paid off for those. I wonder if Dusty, was it ever in his book or anything? Did he, did he get a payoff as a talent, got a payoff as a book or two? Yep. He, he did. Uh, he gave him, according to Dusty, he had points in certain cities. Okay. And I think Rocket even confirmed that uh, he would get bonuses for all that. So he'd get, he'd get to double dip. Just like Jeff Jarrett when he was in TNA, uh, once Dixie took over and the Carters were sort of running the show. Right. Jeff got paid as an executive and he got 
performer pay. There you go. That's the way to do it. Yeah, get as much money as you can, right? Because ain't going to be around forever. Man. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.